Hi, this is Nico with MyNTI Inc. And we've been FileMaker developers since 1987. And this video is to briefly explain the FileMaker Pro licensing. What's happened is there's a few new versions of uh, licensing and so things have gotten a little bit more detailed in terms of making the right choices. Um, on our website, we do have a few uh, items that you can purchase with, uh, with PayPal. And the main basic one is the standard FileMaker Pro <clears throat> perpetual license, which means that it's an uh, ongoing license. It's not an annual license. So the way things are broken down is basically the annual licensing which is volume licensing, so you have to have at least five copies of FileMaker Pro. Or if you buy FileMaker Server, you can get less than that. So you have the first one is the FileMaker Pro Perpetual. Then you have um, Advanced. Advanced is used for developers. So it's got some added features like debugging. Uh, then you have the FileMaker server and then different license quantities. So let's go to a um, FileMaker Pro database I created. So so the main ones that we'd be looking at is the actual AVLA, which stands for Annual Volume Licensing Agreement. And what, what it does is there's different pricing structures. So if you get uh, 1 to 24 copies of FileMaker Pro, you're at $108 a piece. If you go at a higher tier of seats, then your price drops to $100. So basically, um, you're paying $108 per year to have FileMaker Pro. And as it's an annual license, uh, you're always current, so you don't have to pay for any maintenance um, or renewals. So every time there's a new uh, version of FileMaker, you get it. So this is the least expensive um, in terms of uh, volume licensing. So as you can tell, it goes up. To, to different seats up to 4999 You can also go with a two-year annual agreement, so the price would go from to 205 instead of 108 So you're actually saving, let's see, 205 you're saving $11. And then you come to the actual FileMaker server. And the, the cheapest, most expensive one is the one that comes with one concurrent connection. And the annual uh, price of the server is 348 So what you would do is this. The questions to ask is, do you need a server? So if you're going to have multiple users sharing uh, a database, I recommend getting a, a server. Then how many licenses do you need per desktop? So you would multiply that by your number of users. Again, the minimum is, um, is five. So once you've picked the server you want, the next question you have to ask is, do you want to have five connections? And these connections refer only to um, iOS devices, like if you're going to have an iPhone or a iPad, or you would have a web direct connection, you would have to have uh, connections added to your server or part of your server package. And the five denotes concurrent. So any five people currently connected at one time. So if you have three iPhone users, 
uh, one iPad user and one web connection, you'd have to have five concurrent users. So the license for FileMaker Server with five concurrent connections. And remember, this has nothing to do with the FileMaker Pro desktop uh, connections. It's only for iOS and web. So then you would decide if you wanted to go with multiple 10, 15, 20 packs, they go up all the way to 100. Um, again, the server is also with a two-year renewal. And the last um, option you have is FileMaker's introduced team licensing. And what that means is that basically for $888, you get one FileMaker server and five users. So the difference is the five users can be anything. It could be FileMaker Pro, it could be Go, uh, it could be web, web Connection. So uh, when you s get this package, that means that you're paying for the FileMaker server and actually five, say, Pro users that can connect. One disadvantage is it's in um, increments of five. So if you've got six users, you'd have to buy the 10 user license. So <clears throat> let's see, if you purchase the um, legacy license that I was telling you before, the annual license, and also this is also an annual license. So you'd be paying uh, 108 times five, that's 540 plus 383, so behind 923 if you paid for the legacy system, or well, the team system is 888, so you're saving uh, $35. Again, the problem is if you've got six users, it's much cheaper to go with a legacy system. Well, I hope that uh, explains it. Um, Give us a call at 888-471-8639 or go to mynti.com and we'll be able to give you a free quote. We authorize app, uh, FileMaker resellers and uh, FBA and SBA members. Thank you and uh, call us if you've got any questions. Thank you.